My computer literally sounds like it's about to take off. This always happens when I play The Sims 3. You would be shocked about how much stuff comes with this pack. I have put all of the main stuff on here. Of course, we need to address the fact that we have Quidditch in The Sims 3 Supernatural. That's right, we have The Sims 3 Shanice Shanice. As you can see, she is a werewolf as she was in our previous Werewolf Let's Play. She is literally on a broomstick. I didn't think werewolves could fly. Apparently they can. While Shanice Shanice is flying, we also have Crustaceans Cowardly. As you can see, Crustaceans is literally such a coward. We also have Sharon the Fairy. Sharon used to work in an office, but she decided to change her life up and now she is a fairy. Because Sharon is a fairy, she can actually go into this secret fairy grotto and she can do things like throw at a fairy house party. I don't know what she's doing in there. I don't want to know. And of course, we have the absolutely stunning Bone Hilda. She looks so cool. I reckon Sims 3 Bone Hilda is the best Bone Hilda. So I will give The Sims 4 credit because in The Sims 3, witches cannot really do that much. Well, they can do a lot, but we don't have a skill tree system like in The Sims 4. Right now, we can just play with magic and conjure an apple. Apparently, when you reach a certain level, you can actually turn other Sims into zombies as a witch, which of course I shall be doing. Shanice Shanice is transforming into her werewolf form. She literally looks so gross as a werewolf. Oh my gosh, she literally, <laughs> she put on the Karen hair. So as a werewolf, Right now she's hunting. Oh my god, she looks so angry. <laughs> Oh my god, pause. Can we just pause? Sorry, I'm pausing. Is that somebody on a broomstick? Does I see? <laughs> somebody just went past on a broomstick. Oh my god, that is literally iconic. <laughs> anyway, as I was trying to say, as a werewolf, Shanice Shanice can actually hunt for collectibles, as well as doing many other things. Oh my god, she looks so rabid. And she found some gold, apparently. We also have a fortune teller job. I think this came with the pack. Sharon the fairy is, st oh my god, she's still having a party. I literally forgot about her. What a baddie. You you can see she is glowing and she has an aura. And when she has this aura, she can change the mood of other Sims. She can also play fairy tricks like shattering the teeth of crustaceans cowardly. Oh my God, this is hilarious. What on earth is going on? Oh my God, poor crustaceans. Oh my God, what is she gonna do to him? Oh my God, she's freezing him to death. Oh my God, poor crustaceans. He's angry now. And now Shanice Shanice has found some gems. She can cut a stack of gems. I have absolutely no idea what that means. A smoky quartz, okay. What are we actually gonna do? Oh, so we turn it into something else. We're turning it into gem dust, whatever that means. Sharon is traveling via the llama, which looks like a British telephone box. And I guess we can teleport somewhere. Oh my God, she is literally, oh my God, she's literally teleported. That is so cool. Within a flash of a second, because yes, that's right. The Sims 3 has open world. Oh my God, what is she wearing? Oh my God. Oh my God, Sharon, what? <laughs> Why did Sharon just put that on? I literally, can somebody explain this feature to me because I am so confused right now. Is this an intended feature? I'm honestly speechless. I'm honestly speechless. Anyway, Sharon is in the magic shop with, oh my God, this guy, what is his name? Jack Skipper, consignment specialist. Oh my God, he's talking to himself and playing with his hands. Oh my God, what a creep. I can't get over her outfit. <laughs> Why did she do that? Looks like we can buy crafting things. That's right, I'm literally buying everything. Why is he crying? Why is he crying? I just bought out his whole stock. He should be happy. You absolute bitch. Play a fairy trick, hothead. We're gonna punish him now. Oh my God, what is she literally doing to him? Oh my God, he's literally got some out of his ears. Absolutely gutted, mate. Literally gutted. This shop also seems to have an alchemy station. So I'm gonna research alchemy with crustaceans and cowardly to see if he can raise up his witch skill. Sharon is freaking out. I would be too in her situation. Shanice, Shanice is howling at the moon. So Sharon has learned a new trick called tummy twister. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see what she's gonna do to him. She loves to torture people because she is an absolute psychopath. Okay, what is she doing now? Okay, is she, what actually happened? I literally have no idea what happened just then. Is it still happening? Oh my God, she's breathing crap out of her mouth. Oh my God, it's probably a stinky breath. Oh my God, what's happening to him? He likes her for it. Now he's crying, what's going on? It's a love-hate relationship. Why is he crying? <laughs> is she that traumatizing? She can also set a fairy trap on the toilet, which is absolutely hilarious. What does that that mean? I do not know. She's now going to use it and see what the trap actually does to herself. Okay, she's sitting on the toilet, dressed like an absolute state. What is going to be happening to her? Nobody knows. Or maybe nothing happened because she actually set the trap herself. What if I get crustaceans to sit on it? Okay, is anything happening? Oh my god, it just, the water just exploded. Now he's got toilet juice on his face. Oh my god, that is horrible. Do you know what touch I like?
like though is that it didn't affect Sharon because she's the one who put the trap on it. Because in this Sims 4, if you have a Sim, I think they have to have a trait like childish or something or the evil trait and they can put pranks on the toilet. But if they then sit on the toilet, they fall for the prank themselves, which is really weird and counterintuitive. I like how they thought about it in the Sims 3 that Sharon cannot actually fall for her own trap. So Sharon has a Midas touch potion, which grants a gold finger turns objects and other Sims into gold. Oh my God, she can literally turn a Sim into gold. Throw elixir at a Sim. Oh my God, we are throwing the elixir at crustaceans. Crustaceans is turning to gold. This is not a drill. Oh my God, literally what is happening? Oh my God, she threw it so aggressively. Crustaceans a coward is experiencing a sudden lust for gold after being hit with the Midas touch. He should be careful about what he touches. Oh, so he doesn't turn into gold. He just touches other stuff and turns it into gold. What's in this jar? We are turning this jar into gold. Midas touch. Oh my God. Oh my God, what is he? Oh my God, it literally turned into gold. What can we turn into gold next? I want to turn everything into gold. Can we turn the shopkeeper into gold? I literally want to make him gold now because he's such a cow and I hate him. Special. Oh my God, why is he still crying about Sharon? He is so annoying. Right, we can't turn him into gold. We can't turn everything into gold. It seems only like some random objects. This plant we've just turned into gold. It's a bit annoying because you don't know what you can and can't turn into gold, but it's still quite cool. I just want to turn another sim into gold. <laughs> Midas touch. Oh my God, we are turning Sharon into gold. Okay, it is official. We are doing the Midas touch on Sharon. Sharon is literally turning into gold as if her life can get any more traumatic. Oh my God, Sharon is gold and now he's crying. You did it yourself, mate. It's your own fault. Oh my God, he can view her like she is a statue. Oh my God, name untitled. Artist Sharon the fairy, quality average value $10. Oh my God, Sharon is a piece of art. <laughs> What happened to Sharon? I'm so sorry, Sharon. We're calling a Sharon the statue. Oh my God, Sharon, it's a statue. Anyway, crustaceans, get back to your elixir, please. Will she just like stay like that forever? That is literally horrible. Poor Sharon. Oh my God, crustaceans cannot stop crying. It is your own fault. You did it, mate. Shanice is, oh my God, she's being so rabid, but she's off to work. Oh my God. She literally, oh my God, now she's on a broomstick and she's a werewolf on a broomstick. How iconic. She's going to her job as a fortune teller on a on a broomstick as a werewolf. Oh my God, how many cults in one? This is literally, <laughs> this is iconic. Oh my God, she is such a baddie running off to work right now. Oh my God, there's literally a fortune teller cabinet. Oh my God, that is literally insane. Right, crustaceans teleport here now. We can literally have our fortune told by Shanice Shanice, the fortune teller. Oh my God, this is incredible. Crustaceans are coward and the fortune teller drained the last, the tea and blah, 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 blah. Okay, donate more money. Okay, I don't, I'm not even bothered to read this. I'm just donating more money more money. I don't know what's going to happen. Donate more money. What are we doing? Who knows? We are giving all of our money away, but technically we're getting it back because we're giving it to Shanice. The fortune teller's prediction was true and Crustaceans like how it got a Game of Thorns just as predicted. Is that a Game of Thrones reference? Was the Game of Thrones out in the Sims 3 era? I mean, if you believe in that sort of thing, much as the fortune teller in conclusion. So I think we've got a terrible fortune. I don't even know what fortune we got. What a load of crap. So one of Shanice's wishes is to visit the Vault of Antiquity, wherever that is. Can we travel there via our telephone box? Oh my God, Shanice, get back here, please. We're traveling via the telephone box. Oh my God, she is so rabid. Can we find the Hall of Antiquity? I literally don't know where it is. All right, so I found the hall. We can research a supernatural, nice. We can also attend an alchemy class or tour the archives. While she's doing that, Sharon the fairy is at the fairy garden where she can actually search for other fairies, tour the arboretum and talk to Baby's Breath. Who is Baby's Breath? Have absolutely no idea. What a horrid name. Imagine being called Baby's Breath. I guess the problem with a lot of these Sims free experiences. You get her to go in the Arboretum and it's just like these random word boxes come up and you choose what to do. You're not really getting involved as a player. I will say in that sense, it is a little bit boring. And because we love to traumatize Sharon the Fairy, she's going to be drinking the Ad Nauseam, a nauseating elixir for a nauseating experience. I cannot say nauseating to save my life. She's downing it like, oh my God, what are you making me do now? <laughs> Oh my God, she looks like me after I've just had lactose and gluten. How relatable. She's also going to be drinking this drink to gain weight. Oh my God, she literally... <laughs> Oh my God, look how much weight she gained in a moment. If only there was a potion that did the opposite, I could eat unlimited pizzas and never gain weight. Oh my God, she literally looks stunning. Sharon is such an icon, I literally can't believe it. She's the best fairy in the world. As a fairy, she can do some special gardening things. She can force a plant to bloom immediately, which is literally so useful, but it's bad quality. Of course it is because Sharon is a terrible gardener. And now, oh my God, Sharon is about to go in the toilet to vomit because I gave her that nauseating potion. Oh my 
my god, that is gross. You can literally see it come out. That is disgusting. Sharon is checking her lunar horoscope. Today, the moon indicates a possibility of misfortune for Sharon the fairy. Oh, poor Sharon. Weirdly, this pack also came with the bee box, which I think we got in The Sims 4 Seasons. I don't know why it's in Supernatural, but there we go. I love how she changes into her swimwear outfit as well every single time she does it. Why is she changing her to her swimwear outfit every single time she goes to the box? The game also has a procreation elixir, which increases your likelihood of triplets and twins. I don't think we have that in The Sims 4. Personality, just the opposite personality, which is extremely interesting and clever, which goes to show The Sims 3 has so much personality they even thought about giving us opposites. Sims 4 could fucking never. Oh my god, I completely <laughs> forgot about Bone Hilda. Her literal only job is just to pick up the mouldy newspapers off the floor because we're not even in the house very often. Oh my god, she's literally such a babe. Because Shanice, Shanice is a werewolf, sometimes she finds like animals, like insects, and we can actually put them in a little insect farm. I'm a vegan, so I don't really agree with all that stuff, but it's a Sims, like it's not real. It's like Animal Crossing. You feel a bit bad because you're like capturing fish and insects all the time, but they're not real, so it doesn't matter. But Sharon's about to skivvy on Shanice. What does that do? Oh my god, she's literally got nude. That is gross. <laughs> Sharon has another trick called Golden Toads. I have no idea what this is actually going to do. What is she doing? This is literally terrifying. Oh my god, Sharon, you're turning her into a toad. Please turn her into a toad. What did that do? Did that even do anything? Okay, I literally have no idea what's just happened to her. Let me add her to my family and see what's actually happened. She isn't feeling too well as if something is trying to escape her to stomach. Will it be gold or a toad? Oh, so does that mean at some point she will either shit up a toad or some gold? <laughs> okay, she's coughing it up. Oh my god, what did she cough up? Oh my god, she coughed up gold. Fairy gold. Sell the fairy gold and she got 77 simoleons. That is not too bad. This is a great way to get rich. I'm seeing rags to riches challenge coming on here. <gasps> Crustaceans has increased his magical abilities with the knowledge of fire blast and ice blast powers. Oh my god, this is gonna be literally hilarious. I don't know how to find his magic skill book though because it's not in traditional skills. It's kind of annoying that you can't really see exactly what's going on. I'm just gonna do a fire blast thing underneath this guy's feet and see what happens because yes, I am feeling sadistic. Stick. Oh my god, did he move out the way? Oh my god, I want him to catch on fire now. Oh my god, stop running out, please, sir. Can we lock the doors? Oh my god, put it under his feet now. <laughs> Is that sadistic of me? I want to set him on fire. Oh my god, he literally just set him on fire. <laughs> He's on fire. Oh my God, Sharon, stop putting the fire out, please. You're being such a killjoy right now. Stop it, Sharon. Literally, stop it. I want to see him burn. Oh my God, am I a psychopath? I want to know. Oh my God, now she's clapping, you psychopath. Oh my God, stop extinguishing him, please, Sharon. You are literally a nightmare. Oh my God, we're going to have to set him on fire again now because of you, Sharon. Ice blast now. Okay, now we're doing an ice blast on him, whatever that means. Oh my God, everybody's crying. Sharon is so happy. Oh my God, she is literally a psychopath. Right, Sharon can literally piss off because she's annoying me. Oh my god, that guy just literally turned into a pile of ash. Oh my god, Jack Skipper is a pile of ash. Oh my god. I literally just killed him. Oh my god, we can clean him up. Oh my god, that is literally savage. There is literally no trace of him left. The Grim Reaper is here. Oh my god, this is literally hilarious. Oh my god, now he is a ghost. Oh my god, the Grim Reaper, you are savage, mate. Oh my god, crusty crustaceans couldn't handle it and now he is passed out on the floor. Sharon is still laughing because she is so evil. But the only problem we have is this tombstone is missing, which is incredibly annoying because I actually wanted to use my witch spouse to turn him back into a zombie. I guess we can't do it. And we officially have a zombification potion. Oh my God, we can turn this into a zombie. Sharon, get here now. You are being turned into a zombie. She does not know what is coming for her. Throw elixir at Sim, throw at Sharon. Oh my God, Sharon is literally being turned into a zombie. She has no idea what is happening to her. Oh my God. I love how she's a fairy as well. She can actually be a zombie and a fairy. Oh my God, she's gone green. Oh my god, what's happened? Oh my god, she's literally falling through the ground. Oh my god, and there's maggots everywhere. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Oh my god, she is a fairy zombie. Oh my god, she is a zombie. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at all of these interactions. She doesn't even have any normal ones. It's just like brains. Oh my god, look at the way she's walking. She is so scabby. Oh my god, she's oh my god, she's biting him. Oh my god, Sharon, stop! Oh my god. I say Sharon, stop as I make her do more of these interactions, but oh my god, that is so iconic. Oh my god, Sharon is such a baddie. I am obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this woman? We are turning her into a zombie now. Brains. Oh my god, Sharon is moving over to her like, oh my god. 
<laughs> oh my god, she literally bit her. Will she turn into a zombie now? Oh my god. All right, she needs to be put on a leash. Crusty crustaceans, now cast a nice blast spell on her. We need to freeze her in her tracks. Oh my god, now she's terrified. It's your own fault, Sharon. Now she is freezing cold. She's a freezing cold zombie fairy. I have no idea what she really is. And so you know that game Plants vs. Zombies? It's another EA game and I think they like integrated it in The Sims 4. And I think, I don't know if it comes in The Sims 3 store, but there's a special like pea shooter Plants vs. Zombies object. I don't think I have it in my game, but you can get it. Oh my god, she's literally eating the plant. Oh my god, that is so ruthless of you, Sharon. She is a vegan zombie. Oh my god, she's literally the definition of a vegan zombie. Oh my god, she's such an icon. She's just ravaging it. Oh my god, you are such a savage, Sharon. Now she's flying away. She's like, oh my god, get that fire exit door, I'm off. Now don't get me wrong, The Sims 3 Supernatural is great because we got so much stuff. We got a bloody British telephone box that teleports you everywhere. We've got fortune teller caravans. We've got zombies, werewolves, witches, vampires. We literally got bloody everything in this pack. Fairies, all of which comes with really unique cool stuff. But I don't think any of these features are really in depth enough to be like, yeah, this is super fun. Maybe this is a controversial opinion. I actually really like how in The Sims 4 they're all split apart. I do think The Sims 4 lacks a lot of the quirky gameplay objects that came with The Sims 3. Like we got Bone Hilda in this pack. We got bloody Quidditch. We got Witch's Broomsticks that you can actually ride everywhere. We've got fairies. I mean, the fact that we don't have fairies yet in The Sims 4 is unbelievable. Same with werewolves. I just think this pack is really full of a lot of fun stuff. And yeah, I always complain that The Sims 4 doesn't have fun gameplay. So in that sense, I will give The Sims 3 credit. Oh my God, I think we did not even address the fact that I gave Shanice Shanice a literal, I don't even know what kind of bed this is. I think only vampires can use it. Anyway, Sims 3 occult gameplay is better, but the actual occults themselves are better in The Sims 4. That is just my opinion. If you want to see me play with vampires, I played with vampires in my Sims 3 late night let's play. Go watch it up here. See you in the next one.